My name is Bertrand, and today I'm going to show you how to install Open Manage Enterprise. As a little bit of background, OME is part of the PowerEdge software management stack. That stack includes iDRAC, OME, and CloudIQ. OME is our one-to-many management tool. It leverages iDRAC to perform actions on individual servers and get inventory, inf inventory information from them. It is also used as a gateway to push metrics up to CloudIQ. In this video, I will install OME as a virtual machine in vCenter. OME can also be installed on KVM or Hyper-V, for instance. As KVM is gaining popularity, I will post a video showing how to install OME on KVM, so stay tuned for that video. Before I can install OME, though, I need to download it. For this, let's go to dell.com, click on the down arrow of the support menu, and then select Support Home. In the Identify Your Product box, enter any server model you want. In my case, I just choose the, uh, the R750, for instance. In the support page for that server, on the driver and downloads, if you type Open and then click Search, you will find Dell Open Manage Enterprise. Click, down, click the Download button, and this will download the OVF installation, which is the default one for install, installing OME on VMware. Once the download is completed, you can extract the files out of the zip file. This will create a directory called the clients, which includes all the required files, so the OVF and the VMDK. Once that is done, let's go to the vCenter instance who want to install OME. In. Right-click on the folder OME will be deployed in and choose Deploy OVF Template. This will open a dialog box to select the OVF template. Select Locofy and navigate to the directory you extracted the zip file in and select the OVF and the VMDK files. Click Next. Type the name you want to give the virtual to the virtual machine. Being super original, of course, I chose Open Managed Enterprise with this version for me. Select the folder you want to deploy the virtual machine in and click Next. Then select the cluster you want to deploy the virtual machine to, review all the details and click Next. Then select the data store where you want to store the virtual machine in and click Next. Then Choose the proper network for the virtual machine. The virtual machine should be connected to. The OME virtual machine needs to be on the same network as the iDRAC of the servers being managed. Otherwise, it won't be able to talk to it and discover them. Finally, review all the information and make sure everything is as you want, and then click Finish. You can monitor the deployment of the OVF in the vCenter Task Manager, but we're going to speed this up because it takes a few minutes. After a few minutes, you should see the new OME virtual machine. It is now time to power it on. So open the console to the virtual machine so you can see the boot process. When OME starts for the first time, it will boot and then it will restart once. That is normal. On the second boot, the booting process is done when the EULA is displayed. Once you accept the EULA, you'll get to select your keyboard and then change the default admin password. That is absolutely critical. At this point, OME is up, but there is one more configuration that needs to be done, and that is the network config of the virtual machine. Using the arrow keys on the keyboard, move to set networking parameters and choose the interface you want to configure. I only have one in my case, so I can only select that one. Then enter the, the admin password you just set up, and then enter the network configuration for the VM. Once all of the info has been entered, choose Apply, enter the admin password again, and the network configuration of the appliance will happen. Basically, your, your new configuration will be applied. Once finished, it will bring you back to the main menu. At this point, you should be able to open a terminal window and ping the IP, which, as you can see, I can do. If that works, you can open your browser and navigate to a host name or the IP address of the appliance. You'll need to accept the sales sign certificate, and this should bring you to the login page of the OME console. Enter the username admin and the password that you, you set earlier and click login. Once logged in, you are shown the final configuration step around time configuration and the proxy configuration. Choose the right time zone for your location. Uh, for me, it's Eastern, Eastern US. And if you have a proxy, just and if you don't have a proxy, just click finish. If you do have a proxy, then you need to enter your proxy information there. And there you go. You now have a fully functioning instance of OME that is ready to discover the devices you want to manage with it. As I've shown in this demo, OME being an OVF template significantly simplifies its installation. 
the admin password, the networking config information, and the time zone configurations being all the information that is required as part of the installation. Thanks a lot for watching and have a great day.